Western Montana first heard the name Stephanie Land when the New York Times bestselling author moved to Missoula. And we've covered her journey, doing interviews as she started writing her first novel and interviews when that novel became critically acclaimed. Well, the epilogue to Land's first writing success comes this Friday when the TV adaptation of her memoir, Made, airs on Netflix. It wasn't long ago that Stephanie Land might have been the one pining for a good tip after a routine house cleaning. Things look different now. My favorite thing uh, currently is being able to tip <laughs> like 40 or 50 percent. Um, and I like to leave a tip big enough that their coworkers are going to hear about it. Uh, that's my goal. <laughs> but getting to this point no, took I mean, everything I mean, Land had, which she chronicles in her debut book, Made Hard Work, Low Pay, and a Mother's Will to Survive. You may think you know what poverty looks like, but in her book, Land takes the reader along as she walks away from an abusive relationship, scrubs grimy toilets for minimum wage, and watches her toddler learn to walk inside the walls of a homeless shelter. Stephanie Land's story is not romanticized, and that's the point. I called it a gut punch, you know, like Upton Sinclair, where he he wrote about the meatpacking industry, but he got everybody in the stomach. Um, I I wanted to do that with um, the social justice part of it, and and talking about how broken the system is, and and how hard it is to just make ends meet when you're trying to survive and, and work on minimum wage. Made hit the shelves in January of 2019, but these pages will soon come to life as a new Netflix series. Turning the book into a binge-worthy show are names you've probably heard before. Actress Margot Robbie and John Wells, the executive producer of Shameless. And a few of the stars of the show, well, they have ties to Missoula. Margaret Qualley and Andy McDowell will take two of the lead roles. Land says she'll never get used to the spotlight this novel has thrust upon her, but she feels confident in the people telling her story. John Wells and uh, Margot Robbie and Aaron John Tower on the uh, call and and they were so excited about the story, but they were really excited about expanding on it and and adding a lot of diversity to the characters in the book and and fictionalizing it and expanding on other stories. And and I really, really liked that. In anticipation of the show's launch, Land is more reflective than excited, noting the triggering content that's soon to hit the big screen. Her story might not have been the easiest to share, but it's one that needs to be heard. The show is so authentic. It is it is real. It 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 shows what it's like to only have two bucks in your pocket and and to live with that amount of security, insecurity. Um, I wrote my book so people would feel less alone. In Missoula, Megan Mannering, MTN News.